Okay. A parent asked for my take on this situation because it happened at a school event. Okay. Um, and here we have an SRO officer, I'm assuming, or some kind of security guard that's employed by the school system, um, arresting a woman in the stands. Of course, we don't see the, uh, the beginning of it. We only see the, the beginning of the interaction to where the officer ends up tasing the lady and uh, uh, placing her under arrest for not wearing a mask. Okay. Now, in the particular state where this occurred, which was Ohio, um, the mask policy in the state is not as strict um, and has a hell of a lot of exceptions, including what this lady had cited, um, breathing issues or difficulties, asthma, things of that nature. That's an exception within the, within the, uh, the governor's orders uh, with regards to masks. Now, at the same time, you have that governor mandate, a stated exception. There you go. Okay. Now you flip to school policy. School policy uh, says that, uh, you know, you, you need to wear a mask. But school policy and violating school policy uh, doesn't mean that somebody gets to come in and arrest you for not complying with board policy. All right. That is why they ended up arresting her and charging her for trespass. And see, the, the mask was a BS reason. You know, they, they arrested her for the mask, but they couldn't arrest her for the mask because that isn't what she did wrong. Now, what triggered it all was that they would not accept her stated exception. All right. Not that anybody, I don't even know if anybody cared or we don't know that information. Okay. That's not, that wasn't, you know, part of the lead up to this nonsense. Okay. Once again, a overreaction of government. Just absolutely overreaction of government. Number one, she was with her family, the same family that she interacts with in very close proximity. But if you notice <clears throat> in the stands, she was able to distance herself from other people around her greater than six feet with a stated exception. That should have ended it right there. Okay. So she was properly, properly distanced, which was, you know, which is a requirement. So, you know, it, it, there's only a few nutcase states out there to where even outdoors uh, and even if you are, are spaced, you, you know, you're still required to wear a mask, uh, which is insane. Uh, why? Uh, you know, I, it, I can name the state, but I not going to. <laughs> All right. But in this situation, just from a legal standpoint, guys, uh, she was arrested for trespass and you go, well, you know, uh, can they do that? Yeah, they can do that. And yes, it is a school property, but at the same time, guys, you seem to forget and don't ever forget that a school is treated like an independent, uh, little government fiefdom, a little government entity, uh, of, and they're, they are also incorporated. All right. So, you sit there and you go, well, this is our property. Taxpayers is public property. Yeah, sort of. And it's sort of not. And that's why you're losing control of your schools. That's why you're losing greater access to your schools. That is also why you lose greater transparency inside your schools. Are they really your school? You fund it. But do you really have a voice? Do you really have a say? Or do they now have a goon squad in the form of their SROs or their form of their security officers to sit there and, and have administrators overreact, which is what happened because she was properly distanced, uh, had a stated exception under the, the governor's orders, and who cares about their, their board policy? I don't care about board policy, guys. You can have your stupid policy all day long, but if that tramples on um, a stated exception or, or the, the, or within the guidelines of a governor's orders, you can't sit there and make more law than what the governor's doing. And, you know, that's just not how things go, guys. We have the constitution of the United States and the bill of rights. And then we have federal law, federal regulations that keeps going down state law, 
uh, you know, state health orders, and then you go down to local, and then you have down at the very bottom, you know, where the crap lies in your fish tank, that's where board policy lies, at the very bottom of this hierarchy. And, and, and to have somebody assert themselves, you know, as an administrator and say it's board policy, you know, and then and, and if you don't do that, I'm going to arrest you for not wearing a mask. But that's not the reason because they have no justified reason. So they had to get her on trespass, which she wasn't trespassing, but they had to invent that. And guys, you can get arrested for anything. All right. The, the police can arrest you for anything. They can just make stuff up. Where it gets sorted out is a judge and two lawyers, one arguing for the, the government and one arguing on the behalf of the accused, and then a judge making a decision. But you can be arrested for anything. I'm just saying that it wasn't for the mask because they had no power to arrest her for the mask. They had to make up the part about the trespass. Okay. Stupid. But like I said, there's a tier within the the laws. And board policy is down here at the bottom of the fish tank where the poop is. Okay?